Good morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am glad that you are ready to hear the word of God this morning to be able to boost you up. You know, it's a daily dose. Just like you take a vitamin, you also take the word of God every single day. And I know you read the Bible every day. And I know you, you, you meditate on the word of God every day. And I thank God that you are also a partaker of this daily dose to be able to encourage you to go through your daily activities. This morning, I'd like to encourage you from Hebrews chapter 3 and in verses uh, 15. It says this, while it is said, today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in rebellion. In other words, we are being told that this day, when we hear the voice of the living God, when we hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, we are not to harden our hearts in rebellion. In other words, rebellion automatically, assure, uh, uh, rebellion automatically shows that we are hardening our hearts to the voice that we know. I remember when I was growing up, I used to rebel uh, when my parents would tell me some things that I would not like to do. And as a result of that, I was developing rebellion in my heart instead of me being obedient to my parents. And you know what? All of us have been in rebellion in one time or another. But this morning, the Bible is encouraging us. Today, if you will hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart as in rebellion. You see, to rebel simply means to resist authority. One who is rebellious is one who is resisting authority. And you can say that, you know what, I don't resist any authority. Well, you have stated correctly. But will I remind you one thing? The Bible says in John chapter 1 and in verses 12, As many as received him, he gave them the right to be called the children of God. In other words, when you accepted Jesus as your Savior, then now you are submitting yourself to the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. And from that day on forward, any time he says something, you ought to obey because if you disobey it, then it means you are rebelling or you are in disobedient and disobedient is not of the children of God because we know the Bible says through one man's disobedient many were made sinners but through one man's obedient many will be made righteous therefore you and I have been made righteous because of one man's dis one man's obedience and therefore we submit ourselves to his obedience because his obedience has given us this liberty that we have today in the gospel glory be to God. Hallelujah. Therefore, we are being told, when you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts in rebellion. You know, the Bible says that this world, in Ephesians chapter 2 and verses 2, that in this world, there are those people who are in rebellion. Why are they in rebellion? Because the prince of the power of the air is in this world, and the prince of the power of the air, who is Satan, that is in this world, has his values and is working in the children of disobedience. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that I am not a child of disobedience, but I am a child of obedience. And because I am a child of obedience, then the prince of the power of the air, he's not working in my life to cause me to disobey, but I allow Jesus Christ to be able to work into my heart in obedience. As a result of that, I choose to listen to whatever he says, and I choose to obey and do and follow even as he directs me. You know, I'm reminded of Peter in Acts chapter 10. And in Acts chapter 10, there was this gentleman called Cornelius who was constantly offering prayers and also giving alms to the poor. And an angel appeared to him and told him, Cornelius, your prayers have been answered and your alms have been received. But send men to Joppa to the house of someone called Simon Tanner and you'll find Simon Peter whom will come and tell you what must be done to you. So when this was being done to Cornelius, Peter went to pray, and while Peter went to pray, he fell in a trance. And while he was in a trance, he heard the voice of God telling him, Peter, kill it. And Peter said, No, Lord, you know I have not eaten unclean things. And again, the voice of the Lord told him, Peter, whatever I have cleansed, do not call unclean. Peter kept on arguing and said, You know, Lord, I cannot do that. What was happening? Peter was being rebellious. He was denying to obey the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ because the Lord was speaking to him and telling him, Peter, I authorize you to go ahead and do this. But Peter was saying, I do not accept your authorization and I refuse to accept your authorization. And this happened three times consistently. God speaking to him and Peter saying, no way, I cannot do that. I pray this morning that you and I will not find ourselves in the place or in the position that Peter found himself in when he knew very well that was the voice of the Lord, but yet he was still disobedient. Therefore, Hebrews is telling us here today, 
If you will hear his voice, do not harden your heart in rebellion. In other words, don't resist the authority of the Lord. Yes, you may have never been able to witness to someone before. But when you hear his voice saying, reach out and comfort somebody. Obey that authority because God will strengthen you. Those whom he calls, he also equips. In other words, God is equipping you to do what he's asking you to do. He never asks you to do something you're not able to do. Therefore, when you hear his voice, don't harden your heart in rebellion, but instead open your heart in obedience and yield and follow and see what God is going to do through you. Therefore, I'd like to encourage you today. God might be speaking to you for you to be a blessing to somebody. God might be speaking for you to be able to call somebody. God might be speaking to you to reach out and offer some words of comfort or words of encouragement or words of, of correction to somebody else. But you are arguing and saying, I've never done anything like that before. I should not be able to do anything like that. So, oh, not me, not me. No, no, no. Don't harden your heart in rebellion when you hear his voice. Because his voice carries authority that gives you access for victory. And the moment you begin to disobey, you are simply hardening your heart in rebellion. And what you're simply doing is you're allowing the prince of the power of the air, who is certain to begin to work in you in disobedience. And you don't want to go there because you've already been brought out of the powers of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. That is where you and I belong and we ought to walk in that light. Therefore, let me encourage you today, as you walk, away, uh, as you walk around your daily activities, remember, whatever he says, obey and follow because that is where there is life and that is where there is peace so i'd like to encourage you today if you hear his voice obey and follow don't be too comfortable where you are but let god take you through as he charters the territory for you stay blessed and have a wonderful day